champions, we got another character guide to do. This time it's going to be 5 star gold, Triple H the Skull King, aka Zombie Triple H. Now again, mine is 5 star silver. This one was sent to me by Scopely so we can test him out at 5 star gold. If we have a look, his talent is at 25.1k right there. At 5 star silver, he was at 20.4k talent. He has 3.5 million health. At 5 star silver, he had 1.4. His black gem damage is 12.9k. Previously, it was 10.7. His secondary color is the red at 9.3. Previously, it was 7.7. .7. No changes as far as the coachability. It is still at 15k for the purple move starting MP reduce at 3 for your opponent. Our first move set we're going to have a look at is pretty much the one I use most of the time. Uh, pretty much one of the rare character that I use a triple color move set. It is a pedigree 9 MP black move deals 51.2k damage and deals 62.5k bleed damage to your opponent for three turns. Previously it was, let me check, it was 48k instead of 51. And the bleed was 585 and it lasted three turns. So it is a small increase there as well. The Spine Buster, 6 MP purple move, deal 19.9k damage and gain 6 red MP. Previously it was 18.7 and also gained 6, so not much change there. And the Groin Kick, uh, 6 MP red move, deal 19.4k damage and choose 1 gem to make into black gem. A pin bar will not move. Previously it was 182 and also one so not much changes there also uh, some people are going to use a submission some people are going to yeah, use the sledge uh, boat move work as well instead of the pedigree i kind of like the bleed better than the submission or the sledge trainers we're going to be using wood so that we start with more purple we're going to use titus so that we create four extra blacks with the groin kick uh, we're going to use all of fame Brebella so that we're black are going to do five percent more damage and we're going to create one extra and you could use ogen to make another black but personally i kind of like to add carry just to get an extra 25 percent out of that uh, bleed damage obviously if you go with another move instead of the pedigree for bleed then you're better off putting ogen instead of carry uh, we do have a belt on with uh, double fury the metals are not leveled though so it's gonna even out his belt that prevent 40 percent of the damage that i do with my gems and go versus shamrock That's going to give us a red. Put like that. That's going to drop those purples right there. And go. Gonna put our bleed. Single move, that's gonna give my purple. That's gonna fill my red. Right there, that's gonna give me purple. And we're going to get our match here for the extra turn. Oh, shit. I screwed up. 
<laughs> that doesn't matter. We're going to get it here. I'll give you my red anyway. And put it like that, just so that it falls right here and we get our purple. There you go. And having that extra means that we don't lose a turn, or at least we don't move the bar. Gonna drop those. This. Oh, we had a cascade. Yeah, Triple H pretty much stays the same that he was. Another one there. I mean, you can go on and on. I keep going even though he'd be out just to show you how it goes yeah you can pretty much go forever Downside is that he's pretty slow. All right, let's just go for the pin now. And it's over. So Triple H pretty much stays the same. Obviously, the gem do more damage. He has more health. But as far as the moves, nothing changes there. Very slight increase in, uh, in the move damage, but like nothing really that noticeable right, let's look at something else all right rather than showing you 20 matches with one move variation i think we're just gonna have a look at the moves themselves because you can pretty much replace the pedigree by any of those four and you'll have a move set well except maybe to steal the steel red that you probably want to use boat red after that but whatever let's uh, have a look the inverted indian deadlock that is 11 mp black move submission plays four submission gems and do 14.8k damage for six turns while submission gems are on the gem board remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 26.8k now previously at five star silver that was Four submission gems as well. It was for 13.9, so 900 extra. It was also for six turns, and the strength was 25.2. So very slight increase there. The sledge body shot, eight MP black move, deal 37.3k damage and destroy five random red gems. 
Previously was pretty much the same, 35k damage, 2k less, and also destroy 5. The Cutter, 8 MP red move, deal 34.1k damage and choose 4 gems to make into black gems. Was 32,000 damage and also choose 4 before. And the Jumping Eye Knee, 1 MP purple move, deal 3300 damage and still up to 3 MP from each of your opponent red move. Previously it was 3100 and also still 3. Basically Triple H, nothing changes except very minimal increase in uh, uh, move damage. Uh, other than that, all his, all his changes are based on uh, the increased gem damage and the increased health. That's where he gets his uh, increase. But again, I mean, he's already a very, very damn strong character to begin with. He can pretty much do moves like forever almost unless you're really not lucky with the board so he didn't really need a boost or anything but uh he's definitely not going to be overpowered uh by the fact that he's five star gold uh you can pretty much keep him at five star silver and get pretty damn similar results so that's it for triple h thanks for watching if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys g out ciao